This is tic-tac-toe video part four. You look at this trinomial x squared plus 5x plus 6, you already know how to factor that using the old what two numbers multiply to give you 6 that add to give you 5. But once you have learned tic-tac-toe, some students like to switch to using tic-tac-toe for just about all of your factoring problems. And this problem, even though it doesn't have a coefficient, can be done using the tic-tac-toe grid. Now because it's just x squared in the front, it has to be x and x here. I've automatically filled those into the grid. I've done the same thing I did with the grid before. The 5x has to be in the last column. The 6 goes to the middle. It's still a trial and error here. You're thinking about what multiplies to give you 6. The most logical thing is going to be a 3 times a 2. Now, there is another possibility for 6. 6 could have been 1 times 6, but what I've said all along is you want to use the factors that are closer together. So I'm using the 2 and the 3 first. So let's check that by multiplying across. x times 3 gives me 3x. x times 2 gives me 2x. And if I add these together, 2x plus 3x gives me 5x. That says I have these in the correct place. I will group them on the diagonal, which gives us x plus 3 times x plus 2 for the factoring. Same idea here, it's x squared, so I've automatically filled in the x's right here. We do have a negative here. If you have a negative in the last position, that tells you that 1 is minus and 1 is plus. As discussed before, we're not sure which is which, so we'll just put them down in that order. We can fix them later if we have to. Our factors of 14 are 1 and 14 and 2 and 7, but the closer factors are the 2 and 7, so that would be what you'd like to start with. Put a 7 here and a 2 here. Let's check. x times negative 7 is negative 7x. x times 2 is 2x. Add these together. Negative 7x plus 2x gives me negative 5x. So this is set up perfectly. Group on the diagonal. x plus 2 times x minus 7. So there's the appropriate factoring there. We could use the grid for problems like this that you may recall are called the difference of two squares. Even if you only have two terms here, as long as this power is only squared, if it's cubed, that's a whole other story. But if this is squared, then we can use the grid. You're missing your plain old x term. So this is like x squared plus 0x minus 9. So that I will put the negative 9 here, and what's going to go in this column is a 0x. Because remember, your last column is always your x term. So now, I have to think about what are my factors of 9. They are either 1 and 9 or 3 and 3. Use your closer factors first. Recall also that last term is a negative, which says one of these needs to be minus and one of these needs to be plus. The closer factors are 3 and 3, so I'll put a 3 here, put a 3 here, and now let's check. x times negative 3 is negative 3x. x times 3 is positive 3x. And what happens in my check column here is negative 3x plus 3x cancels out, and I get the 0. So that tells me these numbers are in the right place. Group on the diagonal. There's your x plus 3 times your x minus 3, which is right here. Now, do you have to use tic-tac-toe to do this kind of problem? No. If you recognize that this is a difference of two squares, you most probably can go directly to the x plus 3, x minus 3. But if you don't recognize that, then the setting up and using the grid is a good option. Another one like this. Same idea. It's x squared minus 25. I do not have a plain old x term, so I'm going to put a 0x right here. The negative 25 goes in the middle. Has to be x and x right here because that's the only two things that will multiply to give us x squared. The last sign is negative. That tells me one of these is minus and one of these is plus. There are two things that will multiply to give us 25 but we want to try the closer factors first. So I'm going to put 5 here and a 5 here, and then we'll check. x times negative 5 is negative 5x. x times positive 5 is positive 5x. When you put negative 5x plus 5x together, they cancel out, giving us the 0x, which says these are in the right place. Group them up on the diagonal, and that gives us this factoring, x plus 5, x minus 5. 
If you are seeing this tic-tac-toe for the first time and you haven't seen the other tic-tac-toe videos, I would encourage you to go back and see tic-tac-toe 1, 2, and 3 because that lays out the ground rules of how to do the tic-tac-toe grid. Here's another problem that follows the difference of two squares idea, but this time we have a 4x squared in the front, and that's okay. It is a minus 25. We don't have an x term, so we're going to put the 0x right here. The negative 25 goes here in the middle. This time i got to think about what multiplies to give me 4. I could use 1 and 4 or 2 and 2, but we're going to follow our rule and pick the closer factors first. It is a negative 25 right here, which says one of these is going to be minus, one of these is going to be plus. 25 has these two factors, but we're going to try the closer factors first. So we're going to fill in a 5, and we're going to fill in a positive 5. When I multiply to check here, 2x times negative 5 is a negative 10x. 2x times 5 is a positive 10x. And 10x and negative 10x cancel out, which says here's my factoring. 2x plus 5, 2x minus 5. Be careful when you make your circles that you don't draw over a negative sign because that really is a 2x minus 5 on this diagonal. Another one like this, I've already placed the negative 1 right here. What I need to put right here is going to be a 0x because I don't have that x term. 36 has a lot of potential factors. Look at all the factors that 36 has. But we're going to try the closer factors first. So we're going to try the 6x and the 6x. That's a negative 1 there. Same thing, 1 minus, 1 plus. Of course, the only factors that work for 1 are 1 times 1. So I'm going to have to put a 1 here, put a 1 there. Multiply across 6x times negative 1 is negative 6x. 6x times positive 1 is positive 6x. These two things cancel out, giving me the 0x in the middle. Group on the diagonal, and you have a 6x plus 1 and a 6x minus 1. So tic-tac-toe is a great way to organize factoring these trinomials. Tic-tac-toe does not work on factoring by grouping. Tic-tac-toe does not work on the sum or difference of two cubes. But on our regular trinomials and on the difference of two squares, it works. The other thing to mention is all of these problems I've done in the four videos have not had a greatest common factor. If there is a greatest common factor in the problem, you must take that out first.